Pam-pam. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna look manly. I'm gonna look manly. Hello, everyone! Hello, everyone. Welcome to Jeff D Plays. Today I'm gonna try and look. Uh, I'm gonna try to look manly while using these. Um, I'll be doing stuff like, and at the screen it's gonna be fun. It's my first playthrough. The only thing I did before I play tested it on cast, but I'm gonna start a brand new game of Skyward Sword. But so the first part of it uh, until you get the Goddess Sword is it won't be blind, so it's gonna go fast. But it's okay. But I'm gonna start over again because I might want to upload it on YouTube uh, if it doesn't get muted by the wonderful Twitch.tv. So yeah, I'm gonna try and look manly using this, uh, these little thingamajig. It's gonna be fun. Uh, so let's um, let's do the thing. Let's do the thing. So yes, I was playing uh, Super Mario uh, 64. To play. Mm -hmm. Zero craft for the win. Hello, sir. I will need a clot. No, 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 no. Home, home. Yes. 
I was I'm actually I'm actually practicing for 16 stars. I suck, but I might that might be something in the future. The 16 stars. The new B16 stars might be a thing. So yes, it's my first playthrough. Um yeah, my first playthrough. First time that I played this game. Never played it before. So I guess it could be fun. I hope so. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Hands off. Yep. Yeah. Yay. How you doing, Bindles and Rafferoni? How's it going, man? Start. Um. So that was uh, me. But let's center this. Okay. Um. That was me, but that, I don't want it to be me anymore. How do I do the thing with the thing? Delete. Yes. Delete. No. That's I. Del del I said. Hey. Thank you. Okay. Starting over again. In three, two, one, go. Yeah, that's fine. Meh. Why? No. I, I, I lied. I lied. Oh, yeah. So, no, no. Can you see the thing? Just... Okay. I'm not messing up! Come on, it's just, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, I'm gonna do the countdown again. It, it, it's, it's like a speed run, isn't it? So three, two, one, go. <laughs> yeah, got it. Mm. <laughs> How you doing, Mario? The final boss was hired. I can't wait to wiggle my thing at the final boss. There's going to be a lot of wiggling. The Legend of Zelda, 25th anniversary. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is wrong with that? It's gonna be a nice... Oh, okay. I guess we're good. I'm a professional! I have over a thousand followers, as I'm really good at this. Hello, Jay. How you doing, man? I'm a professional, so bear with me. I am a professional gamer, professional streamer. I have over a thousand followers. That means I'm really good, right? Zerocraft for the win! Foss Rodi, my friend. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Oh, there's no language. You're okay with the fuck things. It's a pretty mature stream. I might even let out a few dick jokes. Um, we're fine. Do not worry. Is it too loud? Me, Jakku! Oh no, that was Star Fox Adventures. Hmm. Because I, what I, since I'm playing with the Wii thing, uh, my microphone is pretty far away. Uh, but I guess I tuned it up a little bit. It's a little bit uh, louder than usual, so it doesn't. Whatever. 
This is uh, backward Japanese. This is what I thought in the first uh, in the first place when I played it the first time. Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I ask for it? Oh, yes, you did. Rise and shine, Link. Today's the wing ceremony. You promise to meet me before it starts, remember? You'd better not keep me waiting. Zeruda. Zeruda no densetsu. For first parts. <laughs> hey! Hello, Rafferoni. Sky laughed. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey, Link! Up here! The thought on Anaconda? The movie? With Jennifer Lopez? That movie? Oh yeah, I need to do the thing. Uh, lock on, talk. Ooh. Do I have to do this? For, oh yeah, for the cats. Uh, for the little kitty. Remember I did the, the tutorial, the uh, Skyloft uh, Sky uh, Island? This place. Uh, until I reach the surface. So this is not my first, uh... <laughs> hey! Get up there. Oh, no, jump! Nicki Minaj? I, I don't, I have no idea. I have no idea. Didn't see it. I guess it's a music video, right? Sorry, I didn't see it. On it. Fantastic. I'm terribly sorry. I'll grab the thing. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jeffin already. Get up there! I'm terribly bad in 3D platformers. Like, I am very bad. You guys gonna learn it really fast. If you're new around here, and you never saw me play a Karina of Time, uh, Super Mario, whatever. This is kind of the reason why I wanna learn the 16 star, um... Uh, uh, run of Super Mario 64 because I suck at platformers and I want to learn how to be good. Especially 3D, uh, 3D platformers. Uh, 2D, I'm pretty good at this. The thing. Also, guys, if you love Pokemon and you love Pokemon Snap, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be playing Pokemon Snap really soon. It depends on how long it take, uh, how long it takes me to beat this game. I might play Pokemon Snap before playing um, uh, Batman Arkham Asylum in Arkham City, because then it's probably going to be the um, horror week.
Well, I, I, I kind of love the nunchuck. The nunchuck is pretty, you know? I, I kind of love it. I, I love the, the thumbstick uh, of the nunchuck, I guess. Uh, obviously, I prefer the uh, Xbox 360 controller, but um, compared to the GameCube and the, the N64 controller, the nunchuck is pretty, pretty cool. I just suck. Like, literally. I just... I am very bad. This game takes forever. Um, I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Stop running on walls. Reacting to Nikki. Uh, man, I am really um, hardly shocked. And I kind of don't want to stream anything. I don't want. I've been. I just wrecked a really good highlight um, because of the music. Like, I played uh, the Anson Brothers. Uh, um, um, bop, um, bop, deep, dap, ba, do, um, <laughs> but, but instead of muting, like, the last three minutes, when my stream, like, was ending, it was, like, my credits and everything, um, they muted 30 minutes before, prior to the music. So like 27 minutes prior to my music, they they muted it and it wrecked one really good highlight, and I can't get my uh, file again. I can't get it. I can't use the end of my stream, and I'm kind of pissed, kind of pissed right now. As I had found the the hatch in um, the long uh, the long dock, I wanted to upload it on YouTube, but I can't now. So I'm, I kind of want to stop with the music, and I know that Zelda is very tricky. Ah, oh, it's not what I meant. It's not what I meant to do. For Jeff, every game takes forever. Every game takes forever. Ah, uh, depends. Depends. Well, games like these takes forever. Yeah. Yeah, take forever. All of them. Like these. Yeah, obviously. I can't wait to play Super Mario 64. Like, I'm gonna be playing Super Mario 64, like, for real. Like, trying to get all the stars and second at it. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna play Super Mario Galaxy first. I'm gonna be like, wee, 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 wee. So I know, I know what's going on uh, here. I know pretty much what's going on until the first temple. So this is why I'm not really, um, Paying attention, I just wanted to start over again for the sake of starting over again. So I hope you can read, like, you have a fast reading abilities. And I need to order my Batman costume. <laughs> Damn it! I need to order my Batman costume. <laughs> Man, I hate Zelda's face. <laughs> she has such a weird nose. In this game. She's super pretty in uh, Super Smash Brothers and uh, uh, Hyrule Warriors. Well, pretty as in, like, she looks princessy. But look at her face. 
The lips and, and the eyes are good, but the piff. Look at the and look at the nose. But look at her father. I mean, look at the eyebrow. Yeah, the eyebrow. Could call them spoilers. Like a spoiler. I guess. Aerodynamics? Come on. <laughs> Push me down. Damn. So she's pu pushing me off the the ledge, and she's like, "Just call your loft wing by pressing the thing." And I'm like, "Hee hee," and nothing happens. Nothing happens. For the first part of this game, this is very Avatar, uh, like the movie Avatar. Uh, it's very uh, Avatar-like. Very, very Avatar-like. Hmm. With the birds and Ooh. making sex with the birds. <sighs> this is very odd, Link. And they can sense each other. It's just like Avatar. Link, one you said you couldn't send your love wing. Well, something. Hello, the Bevel Tribe. How's it going, man? TPT. Yes. I'm starting over, as this is the real playthrough, and not, um, a playtesting. I mean, not playtesting, and I'm playing it, so I can highlight it, like for the reels. So my first impressions are gonna suck for this part, but yeah, because they're not gonna be first impressions. I promise. I'm funny sometimes. <laughs> yep, I did it. So, uh, I made it to the surface and then I quit because. I didn't want to continue. Like the, the surface, then it would have been a temple. In the temple, I would have fought the boss, and you know, I wanted to uh, not get too deep into the game for the sake of the stream. This part without, yeah. <laughs> but this time is gonna be way faster than the last time. <laughs> this part's gonna take me. Uh, I don't know, like. 30 minutes instead of two hours. <laughs> That's quite a while. No, just m m making it to the surface. It's not a while. It's like the race. You find the bird, the sword, the race, and then the second, like the real sword, and that's it. It's not very far. 
it took me two hours and a half to make it, and uh, now it's gonna take me like 30 minutes. <laughs> Dopes like you are dragging down the academy. And just who might you be talking about, Goose? Zerida. I was looking at my game library and I didn't know what to play, and I'm like, well, I might as well just fucking play Zelda. <laughs> you know, I had fun the last time, so I might as well just play it. Welcome back, ZeroCraft. Like, I really had fun. I had legit fun playing this. I don't know if I'm gonna get the same fun playing Twilight Princess, though. And I don't know if it's gonna, if it's gonna be fun in the temples, as where I'm gonna have to aim and do shits with the controller, but... For the first part, was fun. And the story's fun, and it's more fluid. I, I, I like it. Yeah, I can figure out the stuff. I can figure out stuff. It just take me a little bit longer than uh, the normal human being. But I'm, I'm, I can't figure it out. I promise. Oh, and by the way, oh, it's it's really it's far away. I can't show it to you guys, but I got a nice backdrop for uh, the horror week. Um, can I just go get the sword right now? Or do I have to see the bird in the thing? Let's see. Yeah, I don't- I know nothing about, uh, about Twilight Princess. I know that you can morph, but I know nothing. And I wanted to play the GameCube version, but it's way too expensive. The GameCube version is like 40, 50 bucks uh, on eBay. And, uh. Okay. I kinda wanna. You know what? I kinda want the Zelda U. Uh, Zelda Wii U, whatever, to go back to the roots. Like a link to the past roots. I would love. Uh, a link to the past, but they just did it with a link between two worlds. So I don't think they're gonna do it with the link to the past uh, with uh, Zelda Wii U. But I would love it. I would love that they go like old Ganondorf and two worlds, and you know, like they did with Ocarina of Time, I guess, with young Link and uh, adult Link or teen Link. Um. I, I feel like they need to stick to the roots, at least for the first flagship games on the Wii U. Because it, it, it's a problem right now for Nintendo. But I, I mean, the second Zelda on the Wii U, they're, they're gonna obviously do something different. But I really think that the first one, it should be very back to the roots and really fun. Yeah, the, the, the new Zelda Wii U is coming soon, 2015-ish. I don't know if it's gonna be early 2015, but... Get the sword. I have no idea.
It, it's gonna be called, uh, I, we, we don't know the name yet. We only know that it's gonna be like Zelda Wii U. That this is how they're calling it. There's no title. Yes, yes. No title yet. Yeah, there's something. You know, the, the footage might be, you know, d test, uh... Like, it doesn't mean anything. It's like Link riding Epona, and... Yeah. They did say that it's gonna be open world, but don't expect a Skyrim experience or something like that, you know? <gasps> yeah, I need, I need to get my hands on the Wii U. That's a thing. That's probably the next, uh, the next console that I'm- the next console that I'm getting is gonna be a Wii U. And I'm gonna need the capture card. Unless I- unless I can find a- a 3DS with a capture card on it. I really want to play Pokemon- uh, Pokemon X and Y. I really want to play Pokemon X and Y. Maybe I- maybe I should do a Nuzlocke on Fire Red. On stream. Yeah, he took inspiration, but it's- like, it's not gonna be Skyrim. There was like, a, a, some translation uh, differences, but, uh, um, like... It's- it's- it, like, it's not gonna be Skyrim as in, uh... Complete open world. And quest like quest finding experience. I, I guess it's gonna it's going to be probably more like Ocarina of Time, uh, but a little bit, you know, maybe a little bit um, bigger. Like not that much bigger. Like Ocarina of Time is, well, in my opinion, open world. <laughs> I can feel that was, um, a little, um, <laughs> a little, uh, autocorrect fun right there. Hi, Savannah. Yeah, sure. What's that? A monster claw. Nice. Oh, nice. There's like a monster thing. I really want to play Monster Hunter uh, on the Wii U too. I might get Monster Hunter a try, uh, the one on the Wii, and hate the. Con Can you play with a, a, a GameCube controller, Monster Hunter a try, or do you need to play with the remote, the Wii remote? Because I might just uh, satisfy my my thirst. Uh, might just quench my thirst with uh, the one on the Wii and be just fine with that. Yeah, but it, that could be anything. Like that's a more, more, most likely like a technical alpha, just to show a little bit of gameplay, and that's you know, that's uh, basic stuff. Because they wanted to hype, you know, they needed and they wanted to hype a little bit about Zelda U because they have to, as the Wii was really, really down in numbers and. Uh, now there's Hy Hyrule Warriors like the best thing that happened to the Wii U because now people are really excited about uh, Super Smash Brothers. People would have been excited about Super Smash Brothers, but Hyrule Warriors kind of bring up the hype, like kind of tell, kind of told people, "Hey, there's gonna be great games on the Wii U, so you might want to buy one." And all the streamers want to stream Hyrule Warriors now. Like, everyone want to play it because it looks so great. And it's about, you know, the Legend of Zelda IP. So it's super, super amazing. Um, but, uh, yeah. It, people just kind of realize that, holy shit, now, like, Nintendo just woke up. We need a Wii U now. And that's cool. Monster Hunter was, you know, some kind of a niche game and people wanted to play Monster Hunter the Wii U. 
But now with Hyrule Warriors and uh, Super Smash Brothers coming, oh, people are buying the Wii U. Like, they must be uh, like out of stock and stuff at most places. But that's great. That's that's like amazing for Nintendo. That's really cool. Just want to see what's gonna happen with the new 3DS. Like, I really want a new 3DS and the capture card for it. The Red Bird! It's my Red Bird! Meow! first dungeon is the size of Hyrule Field in the Korean of Time. Are you talking about this game? Nice. There's one of my viewers called um, um, Crimson Ninroot uh, told me about Kingdom Under Fire 2. Um, oh, in Zelda U. Oh. Um, So yeah, uh, Crimson uh, Ninroot um, told me about Kingdom Under Fire 2, and it looks pretty cool, actually. But it's like MMO uh, free to play, so eh, it lost a little bit of its charm. I thought it was, uh, but like there's PvP, and it's uh, it's kind of a mix of a, of an MMO and uh, Dynasty Warriors. It looked cool. Took you an hour? <laughs> if it took, like, took you an hour, it's gonna take me, what, four hours? So can you play the Monster Hunter on the Wii with a classic controller? Or do you need to play with the remote and be like, eh. Because I might get it, it's really cheap. And it might just, um... It, it might just do it. Uh, instead of playing the, the real deal on the Wii U. Because I'm not gonna get a Wii U now. Maybe, maybe, um... Maybe, um, after, um, maybe after Christmas. My loft wing's amazing. <sighs> Do you want to save? Yep. Thank you. 
<laughs> so he's the bad, bad boy. He's like the bully. He's like the bully. He's bullying Link because he's jelly. The men's jelly because Link has a crimson loft wing. And the crimson loft wings are rare. <laughs> of this game? Hmm. I think they they should uh they sh they could definitely HD a Korean of time, but they did it for the 3DS. Uh yeah. But they could re-release the 3DS version on uh, the virtual console. That could be great. I don't know what they're waiting for actually to like use the the pad in the TV as a 3DS without the 3D ca like capabilities. I don't give a snap. But I would buy a Wii U like next week. Hey Roy, long time no see, man. How you doing? Like, what, what are you waiting for? I would buy a Wii U next fucking week. I would try and find a cheap music video, whatever. You know, 300 bucks, there you go, bam. Pff, and then I just buy all the Pokemon and all the shizzle. Like, use the, use the goddamn pad and the thing on the screen, both of it. What do you, what do you why? Oh, you want to sell Wii U's? Here's a here's a thing. Do it. <laughs> and now we are playing um, uh, Quidditch. School is hard. School is hard. Jeff it's hard. No genitalia's jukes. <laughs> Ever everything's hard, and. Yeah, I know it. I know it. I love how you have to, you know, mention the fact no genital jokes. I'm not talking about penises here. Or peens. Everything's fine. Nintendo, please! Do the thing! <laughs> Bring handheld games on the console so the Western market are going to buy it. This is how you're gonna f sell consoles to the Western market. The Westerners are fat and they sit in their living room and they play on their big flat screen. This is what they do. They don't stand in trains and stuff for like six hours. They don't play on tiny consoles. They play on they play on like huge fat ass TV. You might want to do it, Nintendo. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> because I swung my sword, I couldn't call my goddamn bird. Oh. Oh, Jeff D again. No, no, that's the, that's the fun part. That's the part where you have to fly. Go grab the thing! Go grab the goddamn Quidditch, snitch! Stop doing mean things to me, guys.
Yes! Pah! I'm so good at this. Mm, I'm good at this. Mm, Nintendo. <laughs> Yay! I got the thing. Hey, Double T. How you doing? Burnt. Excited. She's so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to literally take me less than an hour to do the same thing that I did in two hours and a half. I'm getting good. Obviously, it's easy when you know, you know, when, when, when you know where to go, but, uh... Within minutes? No. I know nothing about this game. I don't know, like, I know nothing about the speedrun of this game. I know nothing about it. And the only thing that I know about Twilight Princess is that I've seen, I've seen a little bit of, uh, one of the temple. Um, in a speed, in a, in a speedrun. That's it. That, that's it. I don't know all the Zelda games. I played, um... I played, uh, the, the Zelda, the first one, on the NES. Then I played A Link to the Past. I played The Mining Cap. Uh, I played A Karina of Time, Madra's Mask, Phantom Hourglass, Wind Waker. Yes, I have a GameCube. I have both a GameCube and a Wii now, and a and a Nintendo 64. But it doesn't matter if I have a GameCube anymore. I have a Wii. I don't need a GameCube anymore. I have a Wii. Uh oh. Don't be silly. Uh oh. How long did I have the GameCube? Uh, a long time. I got it at uh, Donkey, Kong Donkey Konga 2 release. So take a look at the um, take a look at the Wikipedia of like for the release day uh, release date of Donkey Konga 2. <laughs> this is when I got my GameCube. Why didn't I get Twilight Princess? Because my sister had the GameCube. <laughs> when Twilight Princess... Twilight Princess was one of the... If not, like, the latest... Uh, the last game... Coming out of the, on the GameCube. I have Super Mario Sunshine. I don't hate Super Mario Sunshine. I don't like what they did with the Mario thing. 
Like, it, it, it's not appealing to me. Super Mario Sunshine is not appealing to me because it's way, like, out of pace with the regular Mario thing and they didn't release any other Mario games, like Mario whatever on the GameCube and it sucked. And the reason they probably did it, it's because first, the lifespan of the GameCube was pretty short and second, uh, Super Mario Sunshine was not well acclaimed, so maybe they didn't want to release another uh, Mario game, I don't know. I don't hate it, I just find it's weird. Why am I focusing on the story? Uh, it's, it's just weird, it's like... It's like Wind Waker that Link and Zelda are pirates. And Zelda is not Zelda, it's Tetra. I'm not saying that it's wrong, I'm just saying that it's different. And it, it, I hate when it's different in Nintendo games because every time that they try to do different stuff, it feels weird. That, that's, that, that's 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 just my point. That's my and I hate the, the the Delfino Island. I hate that the big fat stupid guys, and I hate the fact that we are playing on uh, falsely accused Mario and trying to wash up graffitis. Like it's I don't. It's not Mario to me. That's that's that's, that's just. That's just what I'm like. Galaxy is way more Mario, even if it's not typical. I'm gonna play. I'm, I'm, Well, Skyward Sword might look like a really diff like a, a change, but it's not really. It is not really like a huge change of what we we used to um we used to see. Wind Waker was definitely more of a change than this game. And I'm gonna play Mario Sunshine, guys. Don't, you know, don't panic. It's gonna be fine. I will play Super Mario Sunshine. It's just that if I have the, the option to play Super Mario 64 first, I'm gonna play Super Mario 64. I promise. I'm gonna play Sunshine. I have it. It's a fun game. It's just, I hate, I hate Delfino Island. I hate it. I hate the thing. Galaxy is different, but it feels so much more right than Sunshine. That's just, that's my opinion. And the only opinion that is, that, that is correct in my channel is mine. That's how it works. Shit, Ga Galaxy 2 must suck. No, but I I've heard, I've read a lot of uh, of uh, reviews about Galaxy 2 as it, sh as it might even be better than Super Mario 64. Uh, yeah, I I I'm kind of hyped about uh, Galaxy's Galaxy series. I'm kind of hyped.
A jelly blood. Nice. Um. I, I, like, resolution is a thing. The power of a console is another thing. Uh, the amount of pixels obviously limit a lot of stuff, but um, it doesn't uh, make the game look bad. Hey, Pookie Pookie. How are you, Pookie Pookie? Um, a lot of games on 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 the, on uh, the GameCube. Super Mario Sunshine looks amazing on the GameCube. Hey, Black Boo, how you doing? Super Mario Sunshine looks amazing. You know why? Because it has upgraded textures. You can actually see the, the textures in Mario's overalls, which is different. Um, which is different from, you know, Super Mario 64. It's not like. Pixels are a thing, but textures are something too. <laughs> what? Okay. There's not a huge difference between the Wii and the the, the, the GameCube, you're right. Uh, but yes, the CPU is definitely... Uh, Kodoi uh, overalls. Well, at least you can see stuff. In Super Mario 64, it's flat. It's like polygons and that's it. That's it. I mean, it, it, it looked... Like, a lot of games on the GameCube defined what Mario looks like now. Uh, even Super Smash Brothers on the GameCube. Like, the textures are there. Uh, the GameCube is not very powerful, it's not a super powerful console. Just saying that, even if it's 480p, it doesn't mean that the game has to look like shit. The TV that we had back then, you know, the cathodic TVs, the huge, flat, fat, fucking round TV, um, couldn't pull it off and have a great colors. Um... But yeah. Hey Pookie, I saw your Snapchat. It was very late. And uh, I'm not ignoring you. I just didn't feel like answering your how are you with uh, I'm fine, but like two days after it. After that, I received the thing. I'm not ignoring you. I promise. I, you know, the only, there's one. Let's just wrap the things up about Sunshine. I could have. Keep going with the Delfino Island, you know? De even if I don't like the thing and I. Well, it's okay, he's, he's on like vacation and. But Flood, I'm not a fan of Flood. I'm not a fan of, of, of having a water pump as a weapon. <laughs> See, that, that's the whole different gameplay of what you, you used to do in Mario and having to aim. I suck at aiming. This is the reason. This is the reason I hate, uh, I hate Super Mario Sunshine. That that's the reason. It's... Having to aim with the flood, I suck at aiming. I suck at doing stuff in 3D. And most of the bosses, most of the stuff that you have to do in Sunshine requires you to be good at doing the thing with the joystick. And I suck at it. So, yeah. There's a lot of things that I can't pull off because it's no longer a platform. It's some kind of, like, third-person shooter now. That's, 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 that's the thing. So that sums up what I think of Sunshine. I'm gonna play it, but... <laughs> Whenever Sunshine is brought up, the stream lags. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the fun- that, that, that was- that was fun. This is where I fell in love with that game, actually.
Because the game sucks. Black, black boo. Oh wow, the typo was like black boy. Black boo leet. Welcome, man. Thank you very much. False road day to you, my friend. I need to change the thing, or I need to play Skyrim again. There's, I should like. I'm like in between two stuff right now. I should play Skyrim again. The game is holy. Yeah. Let's not. Let's stick with my opinion. <laughs> Let's stick with my opinion. I hate flood. That's it. I hate flood. I I said it. Uh. But guys, do you know? I suck at it, but I'm practicing 16 stars. I might do some Mario 64, 16 stars. I might have, like, a personal best at some point. Yes, I'll play Skyrim again, uh, Double T's, just that I got burnt out with the thing, and when I came back to Skyrim and I really wanted to play it, my game kept, kept crashing, and it it's just bummed me, bummed me out of it. It bummed me out of it. Um, like, the game barely crashed in the first, like, 25 hours, then it started crashing over and over again, I fixed it, I came back for another 20 hours. Um, and the next few days that I played Skyrim, it's not even because, like, obviously it's because of the mods, but the, the problem is, the game wasn't, Skyrim was not crashing as much in my first 40 hours and this is what is pissing me off is that now I try to you know enter a house or something BAM the game crashes so I have to start it over again then I'm inside the house I do the thing I go outside and it crashes again then you know and it, it's like it's too uh it's just like it's too late so I can't start over again and I can't remove the mods um so I have to like stick with it and uh but i'm gonna play i almost played skyrim tonight i almost played skyrim um i'm gonna play it again i'm not mad about the game at all i really want to play it again but i kind of played you know like 70 hours in a week that was really fun but uh yeah I want I want to be fresh in my experience. I want to be like, yeah, Skyrim, and not like uh, Skyrim again. This is why I'm changing things up with the wiggle wiggle wiggle. Skyrim's too cool. I see what you did there. A bit overrated? I, uh, uh, it's not overrated. <laughs> I don't think that Skyrim's overrated. But it's a good game. Uh, I'm gonna play it again, obviously. Unless Fallout Fallout 4 comes out or whatever. And I still have to play uh, New Vegas. But October is gonna be fun because October is gonna be way different. As I'm gonna be playing the Batman games and. Uh, and horror games. I'm kinda excited, even if I'm gonna... Yeah, a bit. I, I can give you a bit. 
of overratedism. Overratedism? <laughs> yeah, overratedism. But December, I'll p I, I will definitely go back to uh, Skyrim in December. December. I'm actually, yeah, I might do something in December, calling it December, because it fits with my face and my name. I don't know. I don't know what's coming out. I don't know what games are coming, and I'm not really excited. But yeah, Dragon Age Inquisition, maybe. Yeah, but Elder Scrolls Online sucked. And it's not because of hype, it's because the game sucked. Like the games that are coming that I'm excited about, there's The Witcher 3. Um, no, Elder Scrolls Online sucked, it was really bad. It would have been good as, uh, like if Elder Scrolls Online came out between Morrowind and Oblivion, it would have been flawless, gutless, the best thing. But, uh, it came out after Skyrim, and people were expecting some kind of Skyrim, but MMO. But it was everything other than a Skyrim MMO. It was more of a, like, generic, uh, generic MMO with, like, tab targeting, but not tab, tab targeting, like a fake tab targeting thing. With a, um, with a skin of the IP of, uh, The Elder Scrolls. Well, they had to hype it, you know? They had to sell it. And that's the problem with current games, is that they're being hyped too much. That's the problem in the current, uh... Like, the current market, or the current days, is that games are getting hyped too much. And either the hype dies, or uh, the game is not... You know, it's not making up to the expectations, and, um... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Link just got dressed in his face, that's okay. Yes, I played ESO. Well, I played the beta, because I didn't want to buy that game, because it... Like, it was... I, I hated it. I hated it. Like, it was pretty. It was... Fun. But why would I play something that looked like World of Warcraft, but in, like, the other scrolls world? Well, to be fair, Shadow of Mordor is like a mix between Assassin's Creed, Batman Arkham game, Arkham game, or whatever, and, uh, whoops, and, um, and The Witcher. I can do oh Shadow of Mordor. Shadow of Mordor looks fun, but um fifty bucks, nope. Double I I mean the game's the game doesn't suck as a game. It sucks as an Elder Scrolls. That's, that's, the, that's like the point of everyone. Like, everyone with a brain 
won't say that Elder Scrolls Online suck because it's a bad game. It sucks because it's supposed to be an Elder Scrolls, but it doesn't feel like one, and it's the problem. It feels like uh, any uh, like generic MMO out there with a script with a skin with like a, uh, uh, an Elder Scrolls skin. There's Khajiit and there's you know elves and Dunmare and whatever, but it plays like whatever. And if Shadow of Mordor had some kind of replayability, I would have bought it for 50, 50 bucks. But uh, it, it seems pretty not really short. It seems like a game that could last a long time. Um, the diff, the, the, well, the problem or the thing is. Um, if you want to play for like a hundred percent, it's very repetitive, like you're doing the same thing over and over and over again, and um, they are butchering the uh, Lord of the Ring lore, and I hate it. They are butchering. <laughs> That's a chest. Oh, nice. From what I saw, it looked pretty great. I've seen a little frame drop still in uh, some levels. But the, the game looked cool, I guess. Well, if you th if your day sucked, if you're not like bragging about it, or you know, you're not being a bitch about it, it's fine. That's the that's the point of having fun. When there's a rule that says have fun, it's because like I want to have fun. So don't bring something not fun to my channel. If that's the only thing you can do, well, come back later. That's that's it. That, that's the thing. I, I care deeply for my viewers, but if your day sucked, mine shouldn't. Or doesn't need to. I do care about my viewers, but yeah. <laughs> Don't bring me down. Yeah, I'm, 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 sometimes I might, sometimes I look, uh, in, smart, some other times I talk about penis, so, I mean, it's okay, I can do penis jokes and... Mari Maras! Okay, this is new, I made it, I made it to the new part. Do I have to do the thing with the sword? Link? Hmm. 
Nope. Easy. Star Fox Adventures. Oh man, please don't remind me of that of that game. Oh, what's up, Caliboy? Yes, I'm back to the Legend of the Zerida Zerida no Densetsu. I'm back. I'm playing it for reals now. I'm playing the thing for reals. Zerida. No, then said so. Let's see if I can't. Maybe I could do something like that. And not hide the screen as much. Yeah, maybe I, I don't know. I might hit the microphone though. <laughs> I might hit the microphone. That's a possibility. I, I, the first part of it wasn't that bad. The first part of it was not that bad, I promise. The, the second half? Oh my god. No. No. Don't ever know. The second half of the game was miserable, horrible, fuckable. Shut the fuckable. The first part of it was fun. I will always. Like I, I'm sticking, to, uh, like I'm sticking with the, with to my point. The first part of the game was playable and fun, but yeah, the game ha had uh, personality issues. Huge personality issues. Everything. Shut, shut the fuckable. Yeah, that's a thing. The music reminds me a little bit of uh, Final Fantasy VII right now. Am I even going down right now? Is that a thing? Oh yeah, wait. I have to oops, no, I have to do the thing. I'm a pro. There you go. I think I'm running circles. Oh no, wait, I'm going down. Got it. I don't know what's down there. Oh, did I just run past the the green thing? Damn it! Okay, so what's that? Young one, child of destiny, descended from the sky. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Raise. The sword of the goddess, Skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Good at this. I'm really good at this. Mm, it's like I've been doing this for like years. Hot springs? What's that? Geyser? Geyser. Changing the area that was triggered by the scout strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. Oh, okay. It belongs to Zelda. Dowsing? Did he OSing? 
Hmm. Uh, please, explain to me what is DDoSing. As you wish, master. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search for using the tip of the sword. The nearer you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. This response manifests itself through vibration and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Purple pointer. Hold down C and select Zelda as your dowsing target. And then point in the, the, uh, the direction you wish to search. Uh, there's a problem. Zelda? Is that you? Zelda? Zelda? Oh, Zelda, Zelda. Okay. Whee! So there's a thing here. I don't know what it. What am I supposed to get? Like, there's a Zelda there, but. Here we go. Hmm. Don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, I ran all the way down, but I could have- Aw, oh, damn. Did I really did that? I have a sailcloth. Okay, so what's up with that? Okay, now it's opened. Oh, got it. Mm-hmm. Is that the first temple? Sealed temple. On the sealed ground. What's that? Hello? Oh. The traveler doesn't even include boof. I will come here, you child of fate. What is your name? Link, ah, Link, you are good, very good. I sense you have already gained the power of the soul power that fills... It's, it's turning a little bit into Gollum as we are uh, progressing in the voice acting thing. It's starting to um, get towards a little bit, you know, like Gollum. This one's Prince Powell, the Scotland tribe, this is your command. <laughs> it's proof that you fit the bear, the blade carried the guy's sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, also that I could fulfill my purpose as a guide. The guide. She, she's, she's the guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess eternity ago. Our arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all it's not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an even power is uh, working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Link. You are concerned for the spirit maiden and see her whereabouts. Yes? 
That is understandable. But for now, you must focus on moving forward. The girl had, has her own purpose and she must pursue. As do you. She set out for Farron Woods to discover the destiny for herself and you must follow. Show me a map. Here. Farron Woods. The X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. You will be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so it will you give you the power to create beacons. Mmm, beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at, at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press C to place a, bacon, a beacon. Point beacon. Count it! And now, did it. It's the point. Hey. Old lady. I did it. You ha haven't set- I, I did- I just did it! Oh, I might have to zoom. That's what she's, she's telling me. Go on now, point at X and press C to place a beacon at that location. But my beacon's right- my beacon's right there! Yeah. Is it good enough for you, lady? Though you cannot see if from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing C. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. <laughs> oh, you don't, you don't know me. Go on, go now. You must head into Farron Woods and chase after the spirit maiden. The one you call Zerda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. Don't stop leaving. You are ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. Okay. No, I don't want to talk to you. Is that a... No, oh, a chest. Hey! Perfect advertising potion. This potion fully replenishes your shield in four hearts. Thank you. Donkey! Break the pots! Breaking pots like a man! With a tiny little controller. What's that? <laughs> what? I do hope you are able to catch up with the Zelda. Okay, why am I even sitting there? Uh, that's a thing. Pick it up! Throw it! Yeah. Okay, keep it. Yep! Yay! So, is that the chest? She's no, what, what's that? A Deku? I need a Deku seed? I don't even know. Let's save. Bird statue. Saving Areno. Sabod. Saved. Here we go. Wait, let, let's, uh, I'm gonna take a little break here, uh, I'm, uh, before engaging this wonderful, uh, thing. I'll be right back in about, um, I'll be right back in about, like, two minutes. I have to, you know, do the thing with, uh, the wiener and, uh, grab some water. So I'll be right back.
I totally forgot about eating, which might cause a problem later on, but everything's fine right now. Are you leaving, Pookie? Are you leaving? Take care, Pookie. And I forgot my water. Wow. What a champ. What's that? A Goron? Oh. Get them. Okay. I'm legend. I'm pretty legend with a thing. <clears throat> Just who are those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them for peaceful forest. Hi, Wumbles. What's up, Wumbles? Hey. I am Gorko the Goron. I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient text, there's some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up through the sky or down from this Isle of the Goddess place. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's fast traveling, isn't it? Like the owl in Madra's mask? Oh, that's cool, Double T. Take care of yourself, man. See you later. Uh, yeah. It sounds like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient killed cultures here. Right, bud? You have better brace yourself. I'm about to blow your mind. People actually live on this sky island. They get around by flying on the back of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. We run the Rear of the Goddess. And the residents of the All the Island Sky Perfect Society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. This Isle of the Goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it's filled with wonder, wonders we do not have, we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold, and an endless spring of mystical water feeds a river through one place. One sip of that stuff and you live forever. The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wild flowers bloom everywhere. And the weather. Oh, the weather, bud. Not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty hate in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Welcome mm. to the Isle of the Goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong! It's beyond mm. amazing. Oh, I want to hear. Let's just go once. Completely obsessed with this place. I cannot get enough of it. 
I wish I had more to tell you now, but I will need to research these tattoos to learn more. Next time I bump into you, I will give you the latest info. Sure. What in the world just happened? Did you just use some kind of magic? To the sky. Oh, okay. So I, I can use that statue to uh, go back there. To go back up there. Got it. <laughs> Nothing happened, man. Nothing. Everything's fine. Nothing happened. Okay. Is that some kind of shortcut? I guess so. Man, I'm good at this. What? There you go. So now I can do the thing with the thing. Okay. There you go. So what what are the next games that you guys are excited about? Let's um Let's see. Back to the oh crap. <laughs> Backtracking like a boss, as always. Mm. Oh yeah, the beacon. Totally forgot about the beacon. There you go. Hello. The Farron Woods. Thank you. So this is like the first temple, isn't it? <gasps> is that a Deku tree? The Deku tree? The pipe for water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. It's logical that the large plant flies water resources the directed to animal species stuff. Yeah. Cool. Oh, and now. Oh! Oh. That does make me feel like the map is smaller than what I thought it was. But maybe I'm just stupid of thinking so. It is extremely likely that the Zelda is somewhere in the area. I command you to continue to use your dancing ability to search for her. Okay. So, you need to do the thing. Uh, it's like, go there! Okay, I'm gonna go there. Hey, I wanna save. Not to the snow! <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Um, put away the sword, and jump, and grab the. Welcome to GFD Plays, where the guy can't even play the, the games. 
I am a, I am a professional, as you can see. Uh, I have over a thousand followers, so you know I'm really, really good at, at playing video games, uh, and I'm really good at. Um... <laughs> okay, I'm really good at um, failing, actually. What's that? Hey, the little thing. Wow, wrecked. Put away your sword. What's that? Q Q. A highly a spike in dowsing rating from the creatures. Is really? <laughs> really? Yes, Master. Based on the creature's characteristics, I uh, must conclude that it is a peaceful, forest dwelling animal known as Kikui. Kiwis are intelligent beings capable of speech. However, such creatures could. Obviously, not be confused with Zelda. It is unclear why such a creature would elicit a dowsing response tuned to Zelda. You should follow the creature and investigate the phenomenon. Okay, I'm gonna do so. Promise. Promise, I'm gonna do so. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm good at this. As I said, I am a professional. I've been doing this for almost a year now, so... If you're like, yeah, this guy's really good at playing the Zelda and the Wii and... Yep. It's because I've been doing this for almost a year. I'm really good at uh, running. Oh, there's a lot of save points. Like, there's a shizzle, a shiz ton of save points. That's perfect. Ah, crap, I ran. What the hell? I started without you? Yeah, that, that's definitely how it works. Right? How you doing, Dixit? I told you to follow, follow me on Twitter, man. Amber Relic. If you don't want to use the Twitter, mm, sorry, but I'm not sorry. What do you think? Hey. What's up, man? I know that you love my name, but uh, I would prefer from now on that you just use my uh, uh, Twitch handle or Twitter handle, like not my real family name. Because, you know, I'm not using yours. I'm not calling you by your name when you uh, come in my channel, so... Am I even supposed to do the thing? I guess so. Where is it? Oh. 
No, it's, uh, <laughs> whoops. No, it's the thing right there. Hey, I want to be your friend. You won't, you don't want to eat me? I don't want to eat you. I'm Mashi. I'm a Kikui. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. That's weird, Kiku. A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you. What that was. Who? I don't know who she was, but she seemed to be in big trouble when I saw her. She's a friend. She a friend of yours, Kui? A pack of those mean red guys were after her, Kui. But she escaped with her Kikui, the Kikui elder, Kui. Okay. And she's a sire by monsters, but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that. Um, she's still in significant danger. Okay. More my analysis suggests that the Kiku is most likely to produce a false positive dowsing reaction due to the pre previous direct contact with Zelda. 85% chance? What, what is this? Now Zelda's about... stats? Okay. She really spoke me. Kui. It sounds like you're just a kind of friends, Zelda. Would you mind telling me you're safe? Cheer up, Kubut. Better friends safe. Yeah, probably. Oh, wait, unless... Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm coming, Zelda. I'm coming, Zelda. Oh, Dawn. I'm coming. Oh, Dawn. I'm coming. Do I need my shield? I can't remember. I don't remember how to. Wait, where's the shield? How do I... how do I block? Damn! Wait, maybe maybe I'm not that pro. Maybe I'm not that pro. <gasps> oh, 
Oh. 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 Okay, thank you very much. I got it. Back to pro. Um, there you go. I'm so good at this. So good. So what is up, Mr. Bixit? How was your day? How was your day? The door is sealed shut. Yeah! Hey, Spooky. How's it going, man? The Elder. I saw the way you spotted me uh, through my ingenious camouflage. A master swordsman. Um, where's Zelda? Q. Q? You're bad? That sucks, bro. The girl, Kisha, is with blonde hair. She looked like the one in kind, she was with me. But now it's not time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters. I am worried about my missing tribe. You had a storm? And what happened? Hmm. Hmm. is safe. I need to find Ku Kui Kui. I need to find Kiwis. Ah, oh, finding Kiwis. But he may still have useful information. Taking this into account, I calculate the 85% probability the gives will be aided if you find the lost Kiwis. What's the dowsing? Oh, Cal. Okay. Ruined everything, as in, like, everything? Like... I mean, like... No. Oh, really? Wow. That's, that, that's pretty harsh winds. These are pretty harsh windsies. Is there a Kiwis? Is there a Kiwis? I need this to... to yeah, but nothing like Oh, a fairy. You found a fairy! Six of my heart? What are, what are you talking about? <laughs> Tech 